letter of the week is O. The mommy is a capital, the baby is the lowercase. Do they look the same? Kind of. This one's just a little smaller. Do they sound the same? Always. O has two sounds that it makes. O says ah and O says O. Oh. This is the sign for the letter of the week, O. Oh. These are some of the words that begin with the letter O. There's the capital and there's the lowercase. O is for octopus. Do you hear that ah sound at the beginning of this word? Ocean, there's the O sound we were talking about. Owl, orange, oatmeal, old. Let's go over to the table and go over instructions for center one for the letter O. First, we have our O that we're going to dress up like an octopus. Slide the paper clip off, all the pieces over to the side. The eyeballs are stuck on there. They're just drawn on there. Make a pointy finger and let's trace this three times. Our letters always start at the top, top, top. It goes around, stop. Lift up your finger, around, stop. One more time, around, stop. Oh, ah, octopus. See if you can find the word octopus. There it is. See the O? Octopus. Now we're going to assemble this octopus. There will be eight tentacles. So we should do four on one side and four on the other. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. And then four on the other side. One, two, three, four. Oh, ah, octopus. Now you're ready for glue. Make sure it's rolled up just right, just a little bit. You don't want it too far up. And then we're gonna do just a dot as a lot and then push it down. We don't wanna do the whole backside of this tentacle because it will stick right to the table. I'll come over and do these four over here. Awesome. Once you have all eight of them glued down, maybe you want to push them down again just one more time for good luck. We'll put the lid on your glue stick and make the sign. Oh, ah, octopus. Now we'll go over the instructions for handwriting. Make sure you have three markers close by. We're just going to pick one color for the handwriting practice for your name. So today I'm gonna pick orange. What color are you gonna do? The lid goes on the top. Your fingers are at the tip in a proper grip. We always start at the top on the left side, moving our way all the way across that whole top row before we move down to the second row. You can either just watch me go over the instructions and then push pause and do it yourself, or you can do it with me at the same time. Bing! Once you finish that top row, come down to the second row. Always remembering that it's not a race. You and I, we're on the same team. 
Keep going all the way across. Bing! Down to the next row. All the way across. Once you have finished tracing your name, you'll come down, bing, to the beginning of this very last row and practice writing your name all by yourself. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we wanna do our first letter capital, just like this one up here. And then the rest of your name will be lowercase. I'm writing Jenny because that's my name. What's your name? We'll scoot over a little bit, make some space between our names. And then write it one more time. Every time you practice writing your name, you get a little better. All right, once you're done, tell your name good night. We'll tuck it in right behind the letter of the week. We're gonna do our rainbow letters, always starting with our capital. And our letters always start at the top, top, top. It goes around, stop. Don't forget the lowercase around, stop. Then we'll switch colors. The next color I'm going to use is the color yellow. Around, stop. Around, stop. One more time. What color is this? Pink. What color are you using? Around, stop. Around, stop. Once you have traced the capital and the lowercase three times with three different colors, you're done with your handwriting and you can turn it over. What do you think is gonna be on the other side of this letter O? Did you guess an octopus? If so, you were right. How cute is that octopus? If you're not in the mood to color, you don't have to color it. If you're in the mood to scribble, you can scribble this octopus or you can color it with wonderful, beautiful detail. Maybe you even wanna draw some water way up here and color all of this blue, like the octopus maybe living in the ocean. Maybe you wanna draw it on some sand just to get a little wild and crazy. You can do it however you want. And then the last one that we're gonna go over is the instructions for our journals. Before you open your journal, make a pointy finger and trace your name. Then you look, look, look for the letter of the week. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, ah, octopus. Open it up and look, look, look for the letter of the week. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, ocean. And then we're gonna turn the pages until you get to the letter O. Don't give up, you're gonna have to turn quite a few pages. Getting closer. There it is. It's right after the letter N. Once you get here, you can press the papers down and pick a marker. With your journal, you can use as many colors as you want. You can change colors every single letter if you want to. I'm gonna start with orange. Did you guys notice that orange starts with the letter O? Oh, oh, orange. All the way at the top on the left side, around, stop. Around, stop. Around, stop. Around, stop. I think I'll change to a new color. 
I'm going to do pink. Around, stop, around, stop, bing, to the beginning of the next row. Around, stop, around, stop. Hmm, I think I'll change colors again. Maybe you're changing colors too, or maybe you're doing them all the same color. You can decide, it's your journal. Around, stop. Around, stop, around, stop, around, stop. Once you have traced all of the letters, you'll do an illustration down in this space. Try to think of something that begins with the letter O. After you have completed your illustration, remember an illustration is a drawing, then find a mom or dad or maybe an older brother or sister, someone who knows how to write and tell them all about your illustration and have them write the words that explain your illustration up here. Let's go back over to the wall and remind ourselves of some of the words that begin with the letter O. O is for octopus, ocean, owl, orange, oatmeal, and old. And that's the end of Center 1 instructions for the letter O.